Good evening from South Philadelphia. I'm Ed Cohen with Jay Williams. And Jay, no question, there's one direction this Sixers team is going. It's taken a lot of trust and no question, a lot of patience. Ed, I hear what you're saying and the Sixers are on the up and up. But let's remember who built the foundation. Sam Hinkie deserves a lot more credit. I know this new management has taken them to new heights, but it all started with Mr. Hinkie. Now the fans in Philadelphia are reaping the rewards right now. The opening tip won by the Sixers, and we're underway here in Philadelphia. Butler, they go down low to Simmons. Able to convert inside. Old school equals high percentage. Lillard to McCollum. Screen coming. McCollum matched up with Jimmy Butler. 4-3. A tough make there for C.J. McCollum. Can't fault the defender on that one. Look, that shot was going up regardless of what the defender was trying to do. That's called a heat check. A pass stolen by Portland. I'm hearing some boos from the crowd. They know just like I know you're not getting back on D. C.J. McCollum. Two for two. That's what you want. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Simmons to Butler. Slams it down. Big finish for Joel Embiid. <sighs> that probably won't be the last time we see a dunk from him tonight. Maybe sometimes you should send a message. Give him a hard foul. Don't let it be so easy. C.J. McCollum. No good. No daylight. Great defense. Butler into the front court. Down a point. For three, his first effort off the mark. McCollum with the basketball. Looking to make something happen. They work it down to Aminu. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. In the front court comes Simmons. They're down three. Two MB. Can't miss those. Portland's got it. To Lillard. And look out. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Simmons with it. Down five. To MB. Off the mark. Lillard to Nurkic. To Lillard. Here comes the screen. Lillard to McCollum. From long range. He made his first effort, but not that time. A bad pass there. Blazers have it. Simmons with it. Five-point game. To Embiid. Joel Embiid. Two of four now. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Lillard. Has a chance. Deep two there. Won't go. To Simmons. Goes to the left side. Butler. A pass stolen by Portland. Lillard to McCollum. Going to launch beyond the arc. Not that time. To Simmons. MB to Butler. Shoots, oh, off the mark. And physicality is your friend. Don't let these guys get any easy ones down low. Make them look at the refs, wondering where the foul was every time. Lillard to Nurkic. C. 
Simmons into the front court. Down three. To Butler. Joel Embiid. Three for six now. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. Nothing going here on that drive. Lillard. To McCollum. Portland has four to shoot. Lillard. He engulfed him that time. Amir Johnson with a piece. Just incredible timing on that swap. To Simmons. Portland has the ball. Dane rises. Shot by Lillard, no good. The contest was good, but you being a nuisance was great. Continue to be that gnat that no matter how many times you swing at it, it never goes away. Lillard. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Here's Simmons with it up top. He'll run the offense. To Embiid. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Hey, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Joel Embiid at the line for a chance at a three-point play for his career, 77% at the line. And he's got the free throw as well. Trailblazers with the basketball. Scores from the post. Muller to bring it up. Down two. He's looking for that touch. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Lillard to Seth Curry. Got it. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Fultz into the front court, trailing by four. To Butler. Joel Embiid. With that, he's five for nine. It's Portland ball. Lillard to Seth Curry. Almost, and he's not getting the call. Fultz with the basketball. They trail by two. To Embiid. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Joel Embiid trying to cash in on the three-point play. Hasn't missed yet. Free throw up and good. And the three-point play puts them up early in this one. Aminu, tough matchup against Butler. Knocked loose. Taken by the Sixers. Short jumper won't go down. Let's 
to Seth Curry. And a five-second back-to-the-basket violation is called. Time for some new personnel into the game. Number zero, Damian Lillard. Butler sizing up Aminu. To false. Not that time. Perfect feed to set up the basket. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Lillard matched up with Patton. And he's fouled, and he earns your trip to the line. Hey, look, sometimes you need to feel out your opponent. Let them know you're there. I'm okay with that early foul. First one, count it. them both. McConnell to Fultz. Embiid. And two points to the board. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Nothing going here on that drive. Lillard. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Lillard. Cleans it up, and a put-back slam. A lot of players lift weights, but who cares if you lift weights if you don't use that huge upper body? Great job using that big frame. Get down, get down, get down. McConnell to Embiid. Count the basket inside. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. Trailblazers take over. to get that one to go. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Damian Lillard at the line for a chance at a three-point play. He's perfect for the line so far. And he adds the free throw. McConnell to Embiid. Bolts. And the rebound taken in by the Trailblazers. Lillard guarded by Jimmy Butler. Nothing going here on that drive. Shot won't go. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. 2 MB. McConnell. In the first quarter. And strokes it. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Portland's got it.
Doesn't have the touch. No good. I love when I see a good contest. You're crowding the player's landing space, which naturally makes him worrisome about turning the ankle on that landing. He's going to the free throw line to shoot. It's still early, so no real impact on that call. But you know that they're going to call this one tight, so you might want to keep your hands out of his pocket. Jimmy Butler has got two shots coming. A career 83% free throw shooter. Knocks down the first. Goes two for two at the line. Lillard. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim. Inevitably, the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. Joel Embiid. It's been a good night. 60% from the field. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Portland has the ball. Oh, I missed a short one there. Just inside the arc. At the buzzer. We're through one at Wells Fargo Center with the Sixers on top. Jay and I return to Philadelphia after this. You're watching the NBA on EA Sports. quarter down neither side really distinguished itself Jay what stood out well both teams had their rhythm they established the tempo that they wanted to play at but ultimately something has to give some team has to draw a line in the sand rebound taken by the Sixers Smith with it up top leads four Trailblazers with the basketball to Nurkic. Nurkic rocking the rim. How about right after the dunk, he looks right over towards the bench, gets a call from the coach about what defense they're in, and then gets his team set. Those are people that are able to lead men. Able to convert inside. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. Seth Curry. Won't go. McConnell. Two MB. The Sixers with four to shoot. Joel Embiid. That's no good. Oh! That's out. Last touch by Wilson Chandler. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Number three, CJ McCollum. Stepping in for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's Portland ball. Sizing up the defense. Here comes the screen. McCollum to Seth Curry. Work it down to Nurkic. Oh, Yusuf Nurkic. He is shooting well. He's made two-thirds of his shots. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul. But take it when you can get it. Fultz. UMB. 
with the fadeaway. Burns him for the basket. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. McCollum shot off the mark. Waller into the front court. They lead it. Four-point game. To Embiid. Slam dunk for Markel Fultz. That's what I'm talking about. Nice finish. It's all business. Trailblazers take over to Nurkic. Almost unlucky bounce. Fultz into the front court. Up by six. Butler to Embiid. Markel Fultz. That's three now on four shots. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. To McCollum. It's Embiid with the rebound. Fultz with the basketball. His team on top by eight. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. No doubt about where that one was headed. McCollum into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Cleans it up. Second effort. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Butler to Embiid. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Screen coming. Seth Curry. Evan Turner matched up with Jimmy Butler. Has a look. Off the mark. Well contested. Smith into the front court. His team leads it by 10. To MB. Beyond the arc for three. And the rebound taken in by the Blazers. To McCollum. Down for Collins. Ah, no good. Fultz into the front court. Lead stands at 10. Embiid to Fultz. Embiid lets it fly from beyond the arc. That one off the mark. It's no good. McCollum with the basketball. He'll run the offense. To Seth Curry. Trying to cash in. Shot by Turner. Won't go. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. Markel Fultz to Embiid. Great defense there, forcing the pickup. To Embiid. 24-second violation. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. McCollum. Rebound cleared by Philly. Simmons to Fultz. Won't go down. 
Defenders lucky he wasn't called. Great pass to set it up and finishes strong. That's the intensity you need to see. Whenever a player running back on defense after a dunk like that holds the inside of his forearm, it lets you know how hard he dunked that basketball. Fultz calls out of bounds. Last touch by Markel Fultz. McCollum into the front court. Margins eight. To Seth Curry. Down low Collins. Rises for the slam. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. Sixers control it. Simmons to Embiid. Short jumper off the mark. McCollum with the basketball. Down six. Seth Curry down for Collins. Joel Embiid sends it away. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Simmons to Embiid. Has a chance. Simmons with a shot. No good. Screen, screen, screen. Knock loose. Sixers have it. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. Cruises inside for two. And cutting hard in transition is one of the most underrated things about this game. The harder you can cut is the more it opens up the floor to make plays just like that. To Seth Curry. Screen coming. Seth Curry. Has a look. Shot by Turner won't go. The contest was good, but you being a nuisance was great. Continue to be that gnat that no matter how many times you swing at it, it never goes away. To Embiid. Simmons. Shot clock winding down. Joel Embiid. And he's fouled. A trip to the line coming up. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time. Can't connect on the first free throw. Down the second free throw. For the Portland Trailblazers, number zero, Damian Lillard. Subbing in for the Philadelphia 76ers, number 12. Off the mark, only makes one of three. Lillard. The jumpers off the mark. McConnell to Simmons. No good. Two minutes left in the second quarter. Nothing going here on that drive. Screen coming. Lillard. Finishes at the rim. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Simmons to Embiid. A bad pass there. Blazers have it. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you'll be able to stop a great passing team. Go, 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 go. 
Lillard. it up and in. There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable, and almost the physicality of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time. 2 MB. Tough make through traffic. Defenders had no chance on that one. That's why we call it the elite tier. Portland's got it. Lillard. They work it down to Aminu. From the painted area, won't go down. Oh, follows and finishes. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. And the front court comes Simmons. Lead stance at seven. Blazers come away with it. Now pass stolen by the Sixers. Ben Simmons, he's three of five, 60% shooting from the field. Just wait a second, Ed, wait one second. Can we go back to the play before this great play that we just saw? Just because you have a bad offensive possession, you can't allow that to go down and reciprocate itself on the defensive end. One bad play does not make two bad plays. You have to bounce back, that's how you play this game. That's it for the first half. The 76ers have the lead. your EA Sports Halftime Report. The 76ers are up after two quarters. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Trailblazers are in need of some changes at the half. They've got the break to figure some things out. And trust me, they've got a few things to figure out. Still, it's not like they're totally out of this game. These are the guys getting buckets for the Portland Trail Blazers. First half stats. Player of the half. Joel Embiid really showed off his court vision in the first half. When he's able to get the ball moving like that, his team can be tough to stop. about a guy like this, except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in that first half. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Time report. Thanks for joining us and see you again after the game. So Lillard. Philadelphia with the basketball. Pick, pick. Oh, ben Simmons. He's now four for six. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one on one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Screen coming up. Screen coming. Screen coming. 
Lillard. The Blazers with four in the shot clock. Aminu with a shot that's off. See, when good shooters catch, they just shoot. When bad shooters catch, they become hesitant, reluctant. That's the first sign of a guy that doesn't have confidence. To Embiid. Charging foul to number 21, Joel Embiid. Lillard. No good. Nurkic. To Lillard. Deep two there. Won't go. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss. But what it might have done is seep into the confidence of the shooter that the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jump. Fultz with the basketball. The lead is 11. Two points to the board. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. Cleared out by Embiid. To Simmons. Oh, ben Simmons. He's now shooting five for seven. But this is where I go back into player mode. If the dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off his game. Lillard. From the outside, no good. Simmons with it. His guy's up by 15. Shot from the lane, won't go. Here comes the screen. Sixers with the rebound. Sixers have the basketball. Simmons to Embiid. Markel Fultz to Embiid. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big-time finish. New blood coming in for both sides. Number 23, Jimmy Butler. Stepping in. Lillard to McCollum. Number three, CJ McCollum. Fires the three. That no good off the mark. Simmons with it. His guys hold a commanding lead to Butler. MB. I'm Hillside. I'm 
to Butler. Here's a chance from long range, and Jimmy Butler, all in stride. Catch and shoot three is good. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. Lillard, they work it down to Aminu. Able to convert inside. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. Butler to Embiid. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Lillard. up the basket and the defense keeps sticking to those flare screens just don't flare out to the three-point line flare to the rim for a lot Simmons to MB Simmons to MB five on the shot clock for Philadelphia to Simmons fires the three and it's McCollum who grabs the rebound. To McCollum. Wilson Chandler, huge block. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Here we go. I got him. I got him. A couple of cracks at the line now. <sighs> Look, I get it. Being down sucks. But you can't just start haphazardly playing defense and committing silly fouls. Play this game with purpose. And hits the first free throw. Able to convert on both free throws. Here comes the screen. Lillard to McCollum. Nothing going here on that drive. Short jumper off the mark. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. Butler? Jimmy Butler, quiet night, but two for three in the contest right now. Yeah, and what we're seeing is a brilliant offensive display. You have ball movement, player movement, and great shooting to top it off. You get those three things going, you're gonna be a dynamic offensive unit. McCollum. Simmons into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. A oh, pass stolen by Portland. Lillard. Tough shot. He hits. As a defender, you should take it personally when a contested three goes in. That's good defense, but it's not good enough. Here's Simmons with it up top. Looking to make something happen. To Embiid. Simmons. The Sixers with four to shoot. Trying to cash in. Offensive rebound. On the follow. Way to stay with it. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. Scores from the post. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. In the front court comes Simmons. He'll run the offense. Two MB. 
dumps it down with authority. Man, they are just continuing to pour it on. But the one thing we know about in this league, you have to make sure that you continue to play with energy because leads can evaporate quickly. Short jumper off the mark. To Simmons. I got him. I got him. Here we go. Here we go. Catch up, baby. Embiid. No go to Butler, down low. Oh, emphatic slam. Now the Blazers will use a timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Entering the game for Philadelphia, number 20, Markel Foles. Screen coming up, screen coming up. Portland down to four to shoot. Let's it fly from long range, and he's fouled. Very close. Free throws coming up. You never really want to foul a shooter, but if you do, ensure they're going to have a tough time converting. That's good knowledge of personnel. Missed the middle one. One more coming. Sixers control it. Faults. Nothing going here on that drive. To MB. Here we go. I got him. I got him. McConnell. Faults. Won't go down. Joel Embiid rejects it. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Has a chance? Not that time. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. To McConnell. I got you. I got you. Ah, missed it. How'd that not go down? But you can't just be a one-dimensional player. I know you're probably frustrated by me even saying that, but when you don't even give the option to pass the ball by utilizing some head fakes or ball fakes here and there, you save the defender by keeping them on their toes with the element of surprise. McCollum. Finishing inside the paint on that one. There you go, finally. Shoot your shot. McConnell. Double team. Here we go. Portland has the ball. Here we go. Here we go. To McCollum. Portland has four to shoot. 
to McCollum. 4-3. That's how you defend. And big-time coaching strategy by the staff right there, utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. Markel Fultz. Double. Double. Off the assist. Old school equals high percentage. to McCollum has a look won't go he needs some luck on his side given how they're defending deep three at the buzzer third quarter comes to an end the fourth quarter on the way and a great start for the 76ers It's been a compelling game so far. The fourth quarter is underway. Scores one Butler. Points tonight. Everyone gets free pizza. Here comes the screen. Butler to Embiid. Come here. Come here. Finish that. Trailblazers with the basketball. to Seth Curry for three it's good for three look I'm not the one to hate I'm the prime example of a bad decision that turned out well that's me Butler To Seth Curry. Down low for Leonard. Won't go. Butler to MB. Stuff and a lot of traffic on the way to the rim. There's something to be said about a guy that can make the game easier for everybody else on the court. We call that dropping dimes, very similar to the way I'm dropping nuggets on this broadcast. Down low, Collins. Justin! Whoa! Get that out of here! Message sent, Jay. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Seth Curry. Joel Embiid snatching it out of the air. That's his third block this evening. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Simmons to Embiid. And he's fouled. Earns a trip to the foul line, Jay. I don't know, Ed. Maybe there's a long-term play here. But next game, we're going to be aggressive early. Maybe. Joel Embiid. Couple of free throws on the way. At this juncture, he's shooting 60% from the line. And he connects on the first free throw. Can't connect on the second. And he splits the pair. It's Portland ball. To Nurkic. A bad pass as the Sixers come up with the steal. 
Tonight, it may not cost you, but in the playoff game, it will. Simmons to Embiid. Short jumper won't go down. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Here comes the screen. Coming right, coming right. To Seth Curry. Screen, screen. Switch, switch, switch. From long range. Who needs Steph? Who needs Dell when you have Seth? I love the pure confidence on that jumper. He takes that three despite the defender being right in front of his face. That's borderline disrespectful. Simmons to Embiid. Doesn't get the bounce. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. Screen coming. Down low Nurkic. Can't connect. Nice follow up on the dunk there. I was expecting the dish there, but way to fake that one and lay that one in. Fultz into the front court. His guys hold a commanding lead. Here comes the screen. Driving right to the basket. He takes it right at them and scores. You have to fill in there. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. To Fultz. Myers Leonard with the block. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Nothing going here on that drive. Work it down to Nurkic. The shot almost to Butler. Jimmy Butler looking good. Four for five. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. This is the website for your chance to win. Substitutions, Portland. Subbing in for Philadelphia, number five, Amir Johnson. Lillard. Down low, Nurkic. The Blazers with four in the shot clock to Seth Curry. Going to launch beyond the arc. And he'll go to the foul line. There's a very fine line between maximum effort and carelessness. I'm willing to live with a few mistakes and maximal effort than having to constantly remind my players to close out. First one goes down. Second and three, got it. For the 76ers, number eight. Three for three, nice. Philadelphia with the basketball. Butler defended by Seth Curry. Knocks it down from mid-range. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Nurkic rocking the rim. How about right after the dunk, he looks right over towards the bench,
gets a call from the coach about what defense they're in and then gets his team set. Those are people that are able to lead men. Al Farouk, I mean, oh, that's out. Out of here. It always looks cool, but guess what? You're still on D. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Simmons to Butler. And the rebound uh, taken by Nurkic. To McCollum. Lillard to McCollum. Portland down a four to shoot. Missed a wide open look. To Butler. To MB. Had a chance, but it's no good. Lillard to McCollum. Gotta get through the screen. Get through it. Get through it. Shot from the lane won't go. Simmons with it. His guys holding the big lead. To Butler. Trying to cash in. The shot by Butler. No. The follow won't go either. McCollum into the front court. Down a bundle to Nurkic. Won't go. Oh, with the foul. And a chance coming up at the line. Ed and I want to go home too, but fouls like that only stop the clock for all of us. First try, no good. Subbing in for Philadelphia, number eight and number 12. Knocks down the second after missing the first. Trailblazers take over. Lillard to McCollum. Oh, he had him there for a second. To McCollum. And it's Johnson there to grab the rebound. To McConnell. Screen coming. Hey, watch this screen left. Watch cutter, watch cutter, watch cutter. Has a chance. That's what you've come to expect. Your best players making baskets. There's only so many times you can hide from the truth. That was horrific defense. Just got to get it back on the next possession. McCollum not getting the bounce. Here comes the screen. McConnell. Five on the shot clock for Philadelphia. Beyond the arc for three. Turner with the rebound. Knock loose. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Here comes the screen. To McConnell. The Sixers with four to shoot. Has a look. That reach was just about a second off. He got his hand in there a little bit quicker. That would have been a steal. Just enough imbalance. Zaire Smith at the line. Nope. First one does not go.
off the mark. 0 for 2 at the line. Portland's got it. Here comes the screen. Lillard to Nurkic. Short jumper, won't fall. Folks with the basketball. He'll run the offense. Embiid. Yusuf Nurkic sends it away. Just incredible timing on that swap. Seth Curry. Cash is in for two. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Fultz into the front court. His guy's up by 15. Hey, big screen right there, big screen. Gets a look, can't hit. To Lillard. Nice finish at the rim. Now whistle and a timeout for Philadelphia as they'll make sure they're all on the same page here in the fourth quarter. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Fultz to Butler. Trying to cash in. Deep two there, won't go. Damian Lillard, he connects with the step back. And a lot of folks last year, including myself, were surprised that Dame was named first team All-NBA ahead of Russell Westbrook. Look, I love Dame's game, but come on, man. Russ averaged a triple-double for the second season in a row. Stop it. Here we go. Here we go. Markel Fultz to Butler. Here comes the screen. Left, left, left. Cut, watch, cut. Jimmy Butler for two. And the rebound comes to Aminu. McCollum with the basketball. His guy's down 11. To Lillard. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Can't get the bounce. Sixers have the basketball. Probing the defense. Fultz to Butler. Has a chance. Butler can't get his shot to fall. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the rest to blow the whistle. The Sixers are victorious as they win this one handily. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The 76ers emerged victorious after a tight finish. You ask me, and I'll tell you, it was the ball movement that made all the difference. There's something to be said for a team that can win as a group, and that's what happened here today. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Trailblazers lost a tight one today, and you can see the disappointment. And even though they shot so well from the field, I bet they're only thinking about the shots they missed. This was a tough game to lose. Check out the leading scores for the Portland Trail Blazers. Game track. Assist. I was really impressed by the way these teams shared the ball. As you can see in these highlights, the ball movement was spectacular. It can't be said enough. The extra pass can make all of the difference.
player of the game. Joel Embiid played the role of facilitator today, and no one is more happy than his teammates. that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. Time now for the top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. Take a look at the upcoming games for the Philadelphia 76ers. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. We look forward to seeing you again next time.